Have you been looking for a way to preserve your endless summer hydrangeas for year-long enjoyment? Well, look no further, because today I'm going to show you how to make coasters using your beautiful hydrangea blooms. I'm Ryan from Endless Summer Hydrangeas, and welcome to Garden Gab. Like any DIY project, there are some things that you'll need to gather before you can start creating, but it's important to note that there are quite a few different methods and ways that you can preserve plants and resin, so keep that in mind when you're gathering your materials at home. I have this gorgeous dried bloomstruck hydrangea, and the sepals are that beautiful mixture of pastel blue and purple, which I really want to highlight in some coasters. So here are the materials that I'm going to use today. Clear Part A and Part B casting resin, silicone molds, mixing cups, popsicle sticks, a tweezers, heat gun, and protective equipment. This one is really important. You always need to have the proper protective equipment when you're working with resin. So you'll need gloves, safety goggles, and a respirator or mask. Also, just make sure that you do this in a well-ventilated area or, like I'm doing, go outside. And last, but certainly not least, you need your hydrangea blooms. Make sure that these blooms are dry. If you need to learn how, we've put a link to our video on how to dry hydrangea blooms in the description below. Okay, now that we have everything set, let's get started. First, I'm gonna mix the resin together. Like I said earlier, it's super important that you wear the proper protective equipment when you're working with resin. So get those gloves, goggles, and masks on. I'm using a part A, part B casting resin. So make sure to follow the directions on the resin that you have just to ensure that you're mixing the correct amount together at home. Once both parts are poured together, mix it slowly for about three minutes or so using a popsicle stick. Once the resin is mixed, you can start creating. Now I want these coasters to highlight the sepals on Bloomstruck Hydrangea. So I've cut some of the individual flowers from the bloom to use in my design and set them aside. To start, pour a bit of resin at the bottom of the mold, and then use your heat gun to pop any of those bubbles in the resin. Now, when you're using the heat gun, make sure to keep about two inches above the resin. Once all the bubbles are gone, you can start gently placing the flowers. I like to have tweezers handy to help me place them exactly where I want them to go. Once that design is complete, add another layer of resin on top, and then pull that heat gun out again to make sure that you clear out any of those bubbles that have formed. Now it's time to let the resin sit, and it needs at least 24 hours to cure. So I'm gonna put this in a safe, level place, and then I'll check back in a day. And there you have it. It's an easy DIY project to showcase your hydrangea blooms all year long. Now, this is just one project, but there are so many different molds and designs that you can come up with to preserve the beauty of your endless summer hydrangeas. Whether it's coasters, jewelry, or bookmarks, the possibilities are truly endless. So, have fun, get creative, and of course, make sure to tag Endless Summer Hydrangeas on social so we can see what you've come up with. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Garden Gab.